Hello and welcome to my little channel. Today we're going to be going over the Focusrite Solo Studio Generation 2 on Linux Mint using OBS as a recording software. Um, I decided to purchase this kit to really up my audio game because uh, clearly the blue snowball I currently had was not up to my standard. While it is a nice microphone, I was not able to get OBS working where I want it to be with the blue snowball. So I decided to get this off of a lot of research and honestly, I was impressed by the reviews of this. I have to agree with everyone that has re reviewed this. When they uh, scaled this from a 1 through 10, they said it was a must buy for anyone that wants to get into YouTube or Twitch. Like I said, I do agree with that and I wish I went this route opposed to going with the blue snowball. I think it's pretty much night and day. You can look at my other videos to tell the difference. Um, the kit does include the Scarlett uh, CM25 microphone. As you can see there is a adapter attached to it that allows you to attach it to a stand. Something to keep in mind when you do purchase this and you do get it, unbox it, there is going to be a double threaded screw, which means that there's a threads on the inside and outside, which is an adapter in case you want to screw it into something a little bit smaller. Um, I think there's two standards of screws and this definitely fits that bill. Just something to keep in mind. I know a lot of reviewers dinged it for that particular reason. Uh, you have the headsets right here which comes with it which you either plug into this port. I'll go in a little bit more detail on that one. Now this out of the box is I think the three millimeter uh, jack which is the uh, the big jack. That is actually an adapter. This you can unscrew that and you can put that into the aux or the uh, audio port of your computer or laptop. Um, I'm going to have to agree with a lot of reviewers saying that the headset does look like it's cheaply made. Um, they're, they're a decent pair of headset. Uh, it, it's a isolation headset which means it goes around your ears to cancel out the background noise through isolation. Um, like I said, it's just going to be a a nice addition to my headset collection, and I'll probably use it from time to time. My uh, biggest complaint using it is that my ears will sweat or sweat around the ears. Um, not really a big fan of that. I think I might get another pair that's similar to it that allows my uh, ears to breathe. It does come with a rather large or long XLR cable. I think it's around five to six feet. Uh, a little bit much for my setup that I currently have, but definitely uh, gives you a lot of room to play with. And probably when I get to my final workstation, I'll probably fit nicely there. Uh, going through the ports that you can see on the back right here or the front. Uh, this is the XLR kit port. Uh, this is where the microphone will plug into. Uh, when you're using this microphone, make sure you hit this button and make sure that is red. That is the phantom power which will actually power the microphone. Uh, without that turned on, the microphone will not work. Uh, right here is the gain volume knob that picks up the uh, sensitivity and makes the voice actually sound loud as you can tell in this video right next to it this is really designed for the instrument uh, like a keyboard or a guitar um, it's up to you if you want to use it i got the solo just for the microphone and right on top of that is also the gain knob as well uh, then there's this switch right here that switches from a line to an instrument you want to make sure that the instrument 
is select if you want to use the uh, the guitar or keyboard it doesn't matter to the right of that is the volume knob for the jack in case you want to monitor how you're sounding um, so that's pretty much the rundown of what comes within the kit uh, I gotta say it's a pretty awesome kit I'm impressed it's definitely uh, really it's up my audio game quite a bit you can tell from the previous videos that it's not like that um, which kind of comes to the next part the tutorial part of this video um, it was real easy to set up you hook up all the cables you hook up a USB to the to your computer and it works right out of the box um, you're going to hit the record button in, in uh, OBS you're going to do an audio test and you're going to sound awesome at least I thought I sounded awesome compared to the uh, blue snowball uh, my only issue is it was only coming out of the left ear that is because this is a stereo recording device um, I guess I'm a little was a little naive of what a rec stereo recording device was um, so but yeah further ado this right here is the XLR port this is the left side of the stereo or recording part so that's why I only heard myself on the left side as OBS was definitely recording in stereo using this device and the instrument jack is the right side um, now I knew about this prior to purchasing this de device uh, the only problem was everyone that was uh, doing reviews was on Mac or Windows I currently don't own a Mac or any desire to own a Mac at this point and I don't want to be recording in Windows because I just want to be a 100% dedicated Linux uh, person I want to record in Linux I want to play games and record said games in Linux be completely Windows independent to where I don't have to rely on it um, uh, so how did I fix this issue which was real simple I did Google searches and back to the issue I was having was everything was Windows based like I said I knew about this issue prior because I wanted to be an informed consumer uh, the solution was to go into the audio change it from mono to stereo unfortunately with Linux that is not an option so what you have to do is actually go to file you need to go to settings go to audio again and make sure the channel is set to mono once it's set to mono then you're going to be able to record and when you play back you'll hear on both sides of the speakers or both sides of the headset but since I'm not changing now this is going to require a program restart so once you change it and hit apply you're going to have to restart since I'm not making changes I'm just going ahead and hit cancel now like I said the reason why I got this is because I really wanted to up my audio game um, and I wasn't able to get the blue snowball up to par running Linux now I did do a lot of, a lot of searches a lot of queries into it and the only solutions I found were software based uh, since I was on Linux most of those software toys or tools were Windows based and I was not able to get it to work and that's the reason why I I purchased this based off of other reviews saying it was a must buy and I agree with them so as you can see in my background picture there is the Linux Mint I'm definitely running Linux Mint 18.3 and I do gotta say I'm really impressed with this microphone um, I look forward to making a lot of recordings a lot of streams with this microphone 
and hopefully you appreciate this microphone as much as I do compared to my other microphone. Now I currently have it set up using the blue microphone microphone stand. Um, the only issue with that is it is made out of plastic so it's very light which means the center of gravity is going to be very high which it means it's easier to tip over. I currently got the front end propped up so that way the center of gravity is a lot lower so it does not tip. That is just how I currently have it set up. I'm definitely going to be switching stands. This is what I currently have. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, found it very informative, and I wish there were more channels like me that would actually highlight how awesome Linux is and how to get the cool toys to work on it. Uh, now remember, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. and. If you want to you can go ahead and share this video I'm trying to build my uh, audience space and also kind of build my community on YouTube and Twitch and have yourself a wonderful day